today because they just basically wanted to prove that they weren't the soft ones. I don't think anyone said they were fly, to be no, no, honest. No, no, but so, I'm just no, saying. I, I think it had no relevance at all, I suppose, to answer the question. I think they, they are just hard at it, and everyone's known it for a long time. Roberts on the turn. Magnificent goal. Worth win the difference. Everett's there. Punch down to the front. Mickey Martin gets a kick. High to centre half back. Good Mark Simpson. Play on. Comes to King. Here he goes for one of his trademark runs. <laughs> the goals are over there. <laughs> now to the 50. Carey caught behind for once. Oh, Peckett gave it straight up. Blakey's hand pass. Here's King. Winmar goes to ground. Two Saints collide. Would have been a free kick if the colours of jumpers had been different. Grant gets the goal. First quarter. The Saints since then have been blown away in the second and third terms. And look at it now. 40 points the difference in favour of North. They've just been struggling a little bit lately. Good mark, Beveridge. North came into the game having won just two of their previous five. And in that same time, St Kilda had won five straight. Centre square infringements are costly. Uh, once the ball never really left the ball up, the free kick was paid. The St Kilda players had actually got into space very quickly. North have kicked seven of the last eight goals for the match. Beveridge to arrest a slide. Good kick. And then flood their forward line when the ball was running out. Just didn't get rid of the ball, Elliot, successfully. Tim Elliott just on the ground. Oh, Carey. Oh. You are a gun. 11 marks. He, he's a master. Well, I'll give you a tip. If you got him, why wouldn't master. you play a one-man forward line? Why would you bother oh. putting anyone else in the area? There's not a player in the St Kilda side that's going to be able to uh, control his run and his strength in the marking contest. Oh. Shane Wakeland actually done quite well in the previous couple of contests, but uh, he is good. Just a marvellous player. He's kicked three goals. And that is dead straight. The ones that uh, could have been played on many occasions. Campbell's hand pass intercepted by Grant. Mick Martin now forward of the centre. Carey leaves it for McKernan. Well, uh, he, he's only had two kicks and three hand passes. That was his fifth mark, uh, McKernan, but uh, been a very effective player. Low stats, but I just think he's a, his effort. Everett's had a bit more of the ball, but uh, I think McKernan has just kept him honest. And the McKernan into the forward line, it's almost symbolic that now he's got in there to make himself a marking target. Uh, thing that makes him such a dangerous player at his best. Zilla to Harvey. Healy. Zilla. Inside the 50. Chance for the Saints now. Beveridge after it with Mickey Martin. Beveridge a World Cup shot. Wakeland gets the goal. Shane Wakeland. Boundary level now. McKernan in the centre. In the last minute of the third quarter. 41 points the lead to the Kangaroos. Stevens kick. Carey oh, one-handed oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. Just watching that lead, he did opt to go to play behind Steel on that occasion, and uh, the ball certainly just, I won't say fell into his hand, no. he made it fall into his hand. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, Low was actually in front. Well, have we got a good view for it from this angle? Just see Carey just knows the ball is coming along with the breeze and just holds Low under it and then spins back at the last moment. Great ball skills when he was just plucking yeah. in one hand. Yep. Wayne Carey for his fifth goal. And that's 449 for his career. So he's kicked three in this quarter. 31. He'll probably get to his average. McKernan just got rid of his man, Elliot. Roberts. Into Stevens. Burke right on his tail. Back to Roberts. 
Keeps it low. Bit of space here for uh, Harvey. Brent Harvey loves a goal. Gives it away to the skipper. That's well done. And Kerry gets his sixth. 450 for his... Most of the day on the bench. Former Fitzroy player. Brett Chandler towards centre-half forward. Oh, he missed with the punch, Campbell. But there was holding. North Melbourne free kick to Carey. And, uh, well, there's been a bit of talk about Carey. Have a look carrying... at this, this setup as we're about to kick the goal. All the North Melbourne players stayed out on the 50-metre mark and just allowed Kirk McKernan to go to the true full forwards and gradually now the St Kilda players are flooding back but North really protect that vacant space oh the punch by Sirikoski Bell across the ground sharing the footy with other players yeah maybe Lee could answer that I mean he played most of his football certainly with, with Dermot I always thought the way Kerry plays centre half forward uh, I don't think there's anyone compares to him that I've ever seen there's a gift for Mitchell at the back and he kicks the goal. Heatley. Heatley couldn't bring it to ground to a teammate. Martin Pike did particularly well to Archer. Here's Brent Harvey running on as Roberts. This is great team discipline. And Abraham out in open space. Catch him if he can. <laughs> and Wakeland just he brushed him off like a fly. <laughs> Five goals to Abraham. Harvey ineffective with that. Pike, Brent Harvey, King, look out, here I come. <laughs> Where am I going this time? Well, he wouldn't know, his teammates <laughs> have got no hurt. Oh, McKernan. So if Kerry doesn't get you, Corey will. Well, there's a bit of body language about McKernan today. As we say, he hasn't had really high stats, but he really is a guy who's come out with a challenge today. There's no doubt I reckon... The challenge has been put to McKern, and OK, Everett's got your mantle as the best big man on the game at the moment. You just go out and make sure you beat him. Win the duel. Not so much be best on the ground, just win the duel. And Spider Everett's been restricted to three marks and 12 possessions. McKernan adds the goal. No, you, look at him, you look at him, you think he's a bit arrogant, but it's just confidence. Mm -hmm. He's a superstar. Tony Brown comes in. Here's Aussie Jones. He's got a paddock in front of him. Let's see how far we can actually carry it. He might go all the way, I reckon. He's a member of the 100-metre club. <laughs> Pops it over to Burke. Burke unselfishly to Healy. Into the goal, and Healy... Oh, don't tell me. I think he's kicked it. Under Lappin. Well, it's his 50th game today. Not really happy memories. He's been benched a couple of times, and the Saints have been flogged. Burke. Across the ground to Winmar. Nicky's only 35 metres out. Well, again, I'll say it, Lee, it looks like a training drill, these yeah. last two movements uh, into their forward line. It was interesting, this last uh, couple of minutes, Burke and Harvey have actually, the two St Kilda midfielders have been pushed into the attack, I think partly, probably, just to uh, maybe just give them a quiet last quarter. Yeah. And win my goals. He's been fairly quiet of his standards. Yes, they probably have 10 to a dozen players that are involved in the uh, a couple of State of Origin games. Allies, Western Australia, South Australia, and of course Victoria. That's a throw. Wow! Oh. <laughs> Good heavens. Anderson, King. He started at left and came back. Great goal. Well, they might have had uh, similar stats, uh, Doug, but I think he's won that duel against Ozzy Jones comfortably. He's just really been a very, very penetrating player, as you said. The way he runs with the ball and carries it as he's done here, he gave the first handball and then a good long goal up on the wing the last couple of weeks. His yeah. name made his name as a running defender, but also between Jones and King. Pike. And in games like this, you could really take Robert Harvey off, couldn't you? And just play Heatley, get him in the form. Here's McKernan on the run. And he adds another one. Three for Corey McKernan. It is a rout now.